Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to yet another interesting and uh, exciting interview as uh, we celebrate International Day of uh, Monuments and Sites. Of course, today we are talking to Chilangwa Chaiwa, who is uh, an ex official ICOMOS Zambia National Committee, who is also uh, an observer member on ICOMOS International Board. Allow me to introduce our guest, Chilangwa Chaiwa. Madam, welcome to this special interview. Thank you, Eddie, and thank you for having me on the program. Great. You are an observer member on uh, ICOMOS International Board. What is your role as an observer member? As an observer, um, I'm representing Africa. I'm able to contribute to deliberations which go on in the board meetings, although I'm not able to vote if there's any voting involved, but I'm able to contribute. And of, of course, uh, I have to have in mind that I'm representing Africa and I have Africa's interests at heart. Let's get to learn, how does one become a member of iCommerce? Uh, for someone to, to join ICOMOS, there's a membership form which is available. Uh, someone simply has to fill in the membership form and send it to... If there's no national committee in the country in which they reside, then they have to send the form to um, international secretariat. But if they, there's a national committee, then the form is sent to the national committee. Yeah. Great. International Day of Monuments and Sites. What does this celebration mean? Um, it's the day in which we, we celebrate the cultural heritage, which we have world over, and the conservation of the cultural heritage. Okay, mm -hmm. how important uh, is uh, the national heritage? The, the national heritage is uh, part of our identity. Um, as a nation, of course, it can be even at a smaller scale. Sometimes heritage can be at a family level. Sometimes it can be just the, the community or society in which we stay. It can also be at a national level or an international level. There are features or uh, practices, characteristics which people value and would like to be preserved and remembered as such. Great. Let's look at the theme for this year. Uh, the theme states, heritage changes towards the African cultural heritage we want. What does it, this mean? Okay, for me, um, I look at it from the view that cultural heritage is a concept that is constantly evolving. Um, Heritage is not only what was created in the past. It, it is still being created. Um, a building which, for example, was built yesterday, in a hundred years time, it will be viewed as a historic building. So from that angle, especially being an architect by profession, I would like to think of um, what is it that we are creating now? And um, apart from that, is it something which you think people will be, will be able to value in the future? And uh, I also think it would be important to think of the identity of a particular community or a nation. Like for example, in our Zambian setup, are we going to be able to say that is, for example, Zambian architecture, which we are conserving. Like the way we have, we have a lot of colonial architecture. So what is it that we are creating now? Maybe we need to work on our own identity, something which we know will be valued by the future generations. Great. Let's get back to Zambia. How are we treating monuments and sites? In Zambia at the moment, the main organization which is there to look after our heritage, not only cultural but also natural, 
is the National Heritage Conservation Commission. Um, fortunately, we also have iCommerce now. The National Committee has been set up, and I think that will greatly help to beef up efforts in the conservation of the heritage in the country. Because at the moment, the National Heritage Conservation Commission is not able to do all the work that is required in, in terms of conservation. Great. We are celebrating International Day of Monuments and Sites. Who's supposed to celebrate this day? Anyone who values the heritage can celebrate the day. It doesn't have to be heritage practitioners. It can be anyone on the street who values heritage. Great. As we close our special interview, your closing remarks? I would just like to urge people out there that um, they should come forward and um, join ICOMOS if you value your heritage and would like to make a contribution. Um, you're most welcome to join ICOMOS Zambia. There you have it. We've come to the end of our special interview and uh, we're talking to Chilangwa Chaiwa, who is um, an ex-official um, ICOMOS Zambia National Committee, and she's also an observer member on ICOMOS International Board. Thank you so much for your time. We will still keep giving you more, especially as we celebrate International Day of Monuments and Sites.